Hi, and welcome to Taste Pen for Chillers, episode 181. Okay, here again, me and Jay, playing it? host. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Jalapeno Show back, rolling. The train is rolling again. Here again, we're taking that train directly to Mexico today again, Jay. Definitely. All right, hey, man, lots of Mexican stuff happening on the panel. Guys, I can't help it. We're going way down Mexico way again. This time, another product from Zaschila. Okay, last time we saw those guys, uh, we were doing Chile Piquen Authentico, which was a pretty good sauce, a little bit on the spicy side, Jay. Uh, this one, however, uh, again, all green and geared up for today's show. Looking really thick as well. You can see that moving around there. And the sauce today, I guess, if we were down in Mexico, Jay, it would be tres chiles. Yeah. Okay. But here, since we're not officially in Mexico yet, uh, we're going to call it three chiles. Chilies, yeah. yeah, that sounds like a better plan. Okay, again, jalapeno show. Uh, there's three chilies involved in this sauce. Uh, one of them, of course, the first one being jalapeno. Here it has a little picture there. Uh, then we have one called the Caribe pepper, and another one, is that a Japoni? Yeah, yeah, uh, Japoni, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. So anyway, I want to bring this up for you guys to see. Three chilies. All right. Now, Jay, here's the, the wrench in the works. As I knock the table down, here's the wrench in the works. This company's Us Chile also has three chilies in the red version as well. Uh -huh. So this is the green version today because it's the jalapeno show. And... Uh, this here has a heat scale, guys. Uh, says hot. Some room J left on that thermometer, yeah, which yeah. means that, hey, uh, the, some sauces from Zas Chile probably get a little oh, hotter right. than this one. But again, it, hey, it's the jalapeno show, so we can't expect a whole boatload of heat. But uh, hey, let's see what this says. And, all right. Uh, if it has anything interesting on it, some recipe, uh, yeah. some food ideas going on here. We'll skip that because Jay's the chef. He's going to talk about some that a little food, yeah, later. Some food uh, hieroglyphics on there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Can you can you decipher those? <laughs> yeah, most so. so. All right. So hey, we'll have uh, after Jay tastes the sauce. As usual, he'll get around to uh, giving his chef expertise on these things, and uh, he'll give us some recipe suggestions. Okay, all right. Hey, I don't see any writing on here, Jay. So, uh, hey, I'm, I'm just going to run with the ingredients. Uh, water, jalapeno peppers, caribe peppers, japones. I like that. Peppers, salt, coriander, acetic acid, xanthan gum, condiments, and spices. Uh, sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate as preservatives. And then we have some artificial colors in here, Jay. Uh, blue and yellow. So uh, this may not be the most natural color. However, they're doing a pretty good job of giving it, looks it a natural, natural looks yeah. kind of a natural color. Yeah. So hey, uh, uh, again, uh, these guys are out of Mexico. It says Heco en Mexico, J, which uh, kind of translates to made, made, made in Mexico. So there we have it. All right. Yeah. Again, uh, it's Chile. So hey, without any further ado, guys, let's uh, take a whiff of uh, three chilies. And we'll get on to tasting it as usual. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of creamy there. That was a cream. You guys can see that. Yeah, looking kind of silky. Nice, nice cream. Nice shine to it. All right, yeah, kind of. Jay, actually, that's a really nice, uh, kind of like vegetal pepper aroma. Uh, kind of a uh, little bit, little bit of fruitiness going on, a little sweetness, but really. Uh, not picking up too much other spices going on in there. Maybe a, a slight bit of vinegar. But uh, here, go to town. Yeah, and uh, yeah, really picking up the chilies. Possibly a pepper focused sauce, which is always a good thing. Yeah, you, you can definitely smell the peppers. It smells like there's a little garlic and maybe some onion in there. I mean, okay. yeah, they, I mean yeah, 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 yeah. You could you could kind of smell the cilantro. There's like a like a sweet note, but it's maybe like, that's what I'm. You're just able to identify it. Yeah, easier. yeah. yeah it I has, get it a, has a really sweetness. nice sweet. Got a little sweetness in the mm -hmm. nose. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Though actually, here's the truth, guys. You're not really able, Jay, to smell sweet. You can only taste sweet. But it's it's almost kind of like it's your nose is linked to your tongue. So, so, characteristics so, of something sweet. so on, on the panel, 
we're allowed to smell sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're laying down the law right now. We're setting it straight. You can smell sweet on this program. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. definitely. Even though technically they say you can't smell sweet. All right, hey, go to town. You're first. So it's chill. Wow, and it is. God, I'm telling you, it's hot down here. I'm sweating oh, yeah. before I'm even, uh, even taking a hit of the sauce. Uh, guys, it's got to be 100 degrees in the shade out there. Uh, going definitely through a today. heat wave. Uh, been all week long. Uh, haven't been doing any filming, but hey, any chance to, to film the, the jalapeno show, we got to take advantage of it. So, uh, all right, hey, I'm going to uh, throw some on my spoon. Wow, this stuff's really nice and creamy, thick yeah. and creamy. Wow. Man, oh, man. That you know what? It almost fun. reminds me of uh, when you were a kid. Did you ever have slime, Jay? Oh. The, 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 the toy slime? Yeah, okay, it used to come in a garbage pail, like, like kind of. I mean, like not that. to gross people out, because it actually looks pretty attractive, but it reminds me something of that porn it out. Oh, yeah, you got, you got that consistency. That green and gelatinous consistency. Yeah. All right, hey, guys. One, two, three. Here we go. Wow. Really creamy and not without heat. Mm -hmm. So, there's some, that's, that's like, it's pretty, it's got a nice spice to it. Nice, yeah, some nice good jump off. Wow. So, uh, all right, you start, I'm, I'm used to starting, but you start, then I'll pick up. What are you getting out of this one, Jay? Um, going down, it had like a nice uh, body to it. Had a little pulp, the chew. Um, right away, just like a initial, just like pepper flavor. Not not really hot right away, just, just a lot of like peppery flavor. I guess from the other two peppers, and then then you get the heat from the jalapeno. I I never had the other two, so I I mean the the heat's pretty predominant. It got a nice 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 little sting to it. Yeah, good uh, flavor. I I thought I would taste the cilantro. I can't really put a. I mean, I could smell it more. Than I could taste it. But it's hard to get past the pepper flavor and the heat. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, when I took it in my mouth, really really almost yogurty. Consistency. Yeah, creamy, yeah. A real creamy uh, consistency. Uh, Jay, well, as soon as I put it in my mouth, I got kind of, first of all, I got those jalapeno flavors going for sure. Again, I, I'm not too familiar with the other peppers either. Perhaps they're more the heat providers. I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, kind of got that really kind of tangy jalapeno kind of vegetal note in my mouth. Uh, I felt the heat sensation almost right away mm -hmm. starting to kick in. It was just warming. Uh, for, a, uh, for a jalapeno sauce, Pretty good heat going on right Definitely here. Good heat, uh, yeah. I got some tanginess and a bit of salt left, especially mm -hmm. now. It's yeah, as uh, the end. yeah, kind of after, after I swallowed, salt's kind of hanging in there, but not not losing track of the pepper flavor even through the salt through the no, tang. Yeah, it had a nice earthy pepper uh, flavor. Still kind of getting a little bit of that going on there with the jalapeno note. So uh, I figure a sauce. Uh, a sauce for the jalapeno show uh, that really shines through with the jalapeno is never a bad thing. No, no, no. So uh, here, uh, we it, get... it didn't taste like mustard. So yeah, no. yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, there you have it. We had surely enough mustard-based sauces. Uh, this one here really, uh, I think Jay kind of filling the bill for me. You know, as far as like what I'm expecting. I mean, I come in here, I'm sorry guys, come in to the jalapeno show. I have a preconceived notion sometimes of really what I'm looking for when we do a jalapeno mm -hmm. sauce on the show. This guy kind of really fitting in with that pretty perfectly. Oh, yeah, Even starting to pick up a little garlic. Yeah, yeah. Back now. yeah, back yeah I'm not sure if garlic or onion. Yeah. yeah. I mean. I'm, uh, it's almost like a garlic salt, mm -hmm. you know, note on the tongue. And uh, again, guys, the heat kind of, the heat kind of actually in a mild way, Kind of grabbing the whole tongue, uh, getting some accentuated heat on the roof of the mouth, kind of mm -hmm. like center to the back, and even inching towards the the the, the, the back of my teeth there. Yeah, I'm even feeling it kind of going down the throat and into yeah, the definitely into warmth it. into the. So hey, not a slacker on heat. Uh, I must admit, Jay, we have had some slackers on heat. Oh on yeah, show. definitely. Yeah. Uh, this one here, kind of uh, uh, not so much heat though. That you're you're losing track of the flavor, not really overpowering. To some degree, maybe some of those spices will be overcome, like you mentioned yourself oh, yeah. there. Uh,